Hello, Libra. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, this is your weekly tarot card reading for December 18th through the 24th, 2023. Happy holidays to all of you. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for my subscribers, welcome back. Now, keep in mind, Libra, these are general readings. If it doesn't resonate with you, you might want to check out your rising or moon sign reading. So, Libra, take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's see what the cards are revealing for the holiday week ahead. What's coming through for Libra? What does um, Libra need to know? Messages and guidance for Libra. All right, here we go. We have the Major Arcana card, the Empress, coming in. The Five of Pentacles, that's been showing up a lot. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. Major Arcana card, the world. I love the world in this deck. This is certainly, you know, depicting Christmas, the year going out, and then the new year coming in. So this is kind of playing out in the background this week. You know, it's to be expected. All right, let's take a look at which crystal is being suggested for you, Libra, for this holiday week. What does Libra need? Let's see. Jade, good luck. The heart chakra. Beautiful. I think I do have my jade nearby. I yes, I do. Okay, let's bring that into your reading. And your oracle message for Libra for the holiday week. This is the Sacred Forest Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. I love Denise Lynn and her decks messages, the, um, the artistry on the cards. So what's coming through for Libra? Unicorn, purity. Something out of the ordinary is what I'm picking up. All right, the tea leaf message. Let's see what's coming through for Libra. Let's see one message and one card flipped over right away. Needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Beautiful. Always like to hear that. Maybe something unusual because the unicorn is not the norm. It's something out of the blue. So first, let's talk about the energy in the background here. Yes, we are wrapping up 2023, going into 2024. The world card is endings and then right on the heels of it, new beginning. So very much the world card energy for you, Libra. Um, letting go of what no longer serves a purpose to you, letting go of energy. Really important to let go of, oh, we have Pluto that's going to be going into Aquarius uh, in the month of January. It's the first, um, you know, push going into Aquarius. It's going to uh, work its way, uh, I think it's going to dip once more back into Capricorn during 2024, and the final is going to be in November of 2024. So there's a, a, there's a huge transition, but already you're seeing in the world events and everything, Libra, you know, trying to bring back balance, your sign, Libra, the scales, trying to balance those scales. And let's, let's look at the bottom of the deck here, this energy that you do not see coming. Um, you're going to be very successful, I feel. Um, it's, it's something that you're thinking about or starting to do now, Libra. You're going to be very successful in 2024. And uh, this is Leo's card in energy. So I'm getting a message for some Libras that this could involve a Leo individual, either possibly um, being a mentor, an advisor, um, maybe somebody that's giving you an opportunity. And also, you're going to be letting go of the past. I can see this. So these are things you have yet to see happening. But it, oh, look at this. 
Oh my goodness, Libra. Don't get me started on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Swords, you are moving away from hostile negative energy, something that no longer serves you. And as I was talking about, you know, Pluto going into Aquarius, that's huge. Um, we've been stuck in, or I should say, Pluto has been in Capricorn uh, pretty much since 2008. So everything that has been going on, that's kind of wrapping up. And, you know, going into 2024, Libra, very much transitional energy. And I really feel connected. Look at this. You've got this beautiful energy here. You know, a sincere wish is going to be granted. You've got good luck coming in. Make sure you have the Jade Crystal, especially this week and then into the new year. And then you've got this beautiful message here with the unicorn. And I do feel, look at, look at the energy coming off the unicorn. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But this all ties into the world card where things are wrapping up. Things that have been uh, probably what you've been experiencing since 2008. It's a big deal this year. Aquarius, um, or excuse me, Pluto going into Aquarius. Once it um, gets to November, it's done and it's going to stay there for the next 20 years. So this is really setting the tone how you're coming into the new year. So you want to put your best foot forward for this new year more than any other. It looks good for you though, Vir uh, Libra. Sorry, I almost said Virgo. So your anchor card for the reading is the Major Arcana card, the Empress. I love the two little bunnies. Usually we might see one. So there is something new. There, there's an opportunity here for something new. Um, almost uh, two opportunities I'm picking up since we have two little bunnies here. But there, the Empress is creating that very comfortable um, environment for you to uh, move forward and get inspired and motivated into something new. You have the three energy here. So something is ready. And this is just like a major green light, Libra, telling you you're ready. You're moving into something new, um, something that's going to bring in abundance. And the Five of Pentacles here, I feel that might be some of the past energy you need to let go. There could be something where you feel exactly what we're seeing on the card. You've been left out in the cold. But you need to release, let go of this energy. This can also be for some Libra individuals. Um, as I said when the, the, I first drew the card, this can be overextending yourself because of this being the holiday week. So you're lacking some funds. But there's help nearby. We've got the five pentacles on the stained glass window. There is assistance, there's help nearby. But what I'm picking up for some Libras is um, put your best foot forward. Don't bring attention to yourself in a negative way. Don't, um, this is going to be, this is really tied into um, the endings and the new beginnings. It's leaving behind. We could see that. Let's see. We can see that coming. This is what's coming. This is what you can't see yet. But leaving behind uh, maybe hostile negative energy that's around you at this time. For some of you, this is going to be possibly um, moving, leaving a relationship, maybe changing jobs. You're moving away from what no longer serves you or what has been a block to you. So very much, very important, you know, the world card showing up for you. You're stepping through like this portal to new beginnings. So put your best foot forward. There is assistance. There's help nearby. And we have the beautiful Knight of Pentacles here. This is a uh, very dependable energy, an energy where you're, you're just starting to plant the seeds. You're taking your first steps, you know, for your future. This particular Knight is the only one that Almost looks like he's at a standstill, but that's because you're taking it slow and steady. So it is in regards to uh, whatever is happening in the material world. It's in regards to your money, finances, 
and he is steadfast looking towards the future. You're going to be, um, you've got this three energy here of something wanting to emerge and come through. And the Knight of Pentacles is that energy that what is coming in for you, you've got good luck, you've got a wish a very sincere wish being granted. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles indicating, your cards are indicating that you are embarking on something new and planting the seeds for your future. Which brings us to your next card, which is the Nine of Swords. And I just feel that if you look down at the bottom of the card here, there is environment around you that is kind of hostile. And we saw that coming up um, in the future, you're going to be moving away from that kind of energy. It, it is certainly not energy that supports you in what you want to be doing. The Nine of Swords here, and really um, paying attention to the Five Swords in particular that are frozen. This is your uh, mental energies. This is something that has just been almost, you know, frozen, as you see here, that you have been thinking about this and trapped. I just feel that you feel trapped. This is one more than the Eight of Swords. This is something that has been a challenge, um, you know, uh, that you've been thinking about over and over and over again. So we do have the Nine Energy there. That is one of review. So Let's um, let's clarify first, and then I'm going to talk about the unicorn energy. Let's clarify the Empress coming in. She is in your anchor card position. And I do feel you have not one, but possibly two routes to go, two avenues, avenues um, two directions. Um, I do feel you're at the crossroads right now, Libra. Oh, and here's the Eight of Swords that I was talking about. You feel stuck where you are, but you've got um, you've got an environment. You've got the energy surrounding you. Um, keep it positive. Keep it uplifting. This is an illusion with the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight energy here, which is abundance, prosperity. You're getting a wish. You've got good luck following you. It looks like you're going to be planting the seeds for your future. So this is an illusion with the Eight of Swords. You're not trapped. You've got the Eight energy. And going into 2024, that is Eight energy. So let's clarify this Five of Pentacles. There you go. The Sun card. Think about the best. Um, think of this in the way of the law of attraction, like attracts like, positive attracts positive. Be happy with what you have right now, the here and now. Think about what it is that you want and, and just try to experience the feelings of how you would feel if you already had what you're going after. This is happiness. This is positivity. This is also about... Um, don't draw attention to yourself in a negative way. Get out, have some fun. This is the holiday week, Libra. So the Knight of Pentacles, looking at things in a different way, is going to produce planting seeds, fresh seeds, new seeds for your future. And then the Nine of Swords here, and this flew out. We have the Ten of Wands. You're almost done. The path that you're on, you're almost done. We can see that with the world card showing up in the background that you are wrapping something up. You've got the nine energy here with the nine of swords. You need to complete that. You need to get rid of that energy. And that's what the ten of wands is indicating is that it's coming to a close. This is um, something that is coming on very quickly. I would welcome this this type of energy being done and over with Libra. Now, let me talk about the, the unicorn card because this kind of turn, um, it, it kind of connects with the sun card and this is about um, step taking that leap of faith is what I'm trying to say. You know, we see the innocence of the child here, you know, um, just looking at things in a new way. You've got the hangman card in here, and that's what the unicorn spirit is all about. That life can begin again, fresh and new. But there's an indication here of healing, inner purification, renewal, 
take the time to release Libra, what doesn't serve and support you in your life. And then you're going to be amazed watching the miracles unfold. So very unusual uh, animal, the unicorn. It, it symbolizes miracles and magics and enchanted kind of energy. This brings the seemingly impossible into reality. So beautiful cards and energy here. And to finish off your reading, this is the Secrets Manifestation Deck. So let's uh, see what the manifesting message is for you. You've got the Empress as your anchor card where the conditions are beautiful for you to be inspired and, you know, creative, coming up with a game plan. So let's see what's um, coming through for Libra. There we go. You were born a creator. You are here on this glorious planet, Libra, endowed with this wonderful power to create your life. There are no limits to what you can create for yourself because your ability to think is unlimited. Beautiful message to uh, end your reading with. Keep in mind, you've got uh, the jade bringing in good luck. It does concern your heart chakra. Sincere wish to be granted. You've got the empress here setting the tone for creativity, inspiration. Something's trying to come about, planting the seeds for the future. And all the while, Libra, Going, stepping through this portal, big transformational energy, stepping through this portal into absolute new beginnings for 2024. All right. Thank you so much, Libra, for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website if you'd like to continue with a private reading. But Libra, love and abundance. Happy holidays to my Libra family.